All right, here's your CFU number 13 through 21 odd for section 2.3. For this, you're supposed to do synthetic division. So number 13. Three x to the third minus seventeen x squared plus fifteen x minus twenty five. You're supposed to divide that by x minus five. Okay, so it's all of this by x minus five. And using synthetic division, you're going to just write down the the coefficients. So you're going to go with three negative seventeen. 15, you're going to check to see if there's anything missing. If there isn't, then just write the numbers down. And then the x minus 5, okay, you're really going to use x minus 5 as a factor, but, you know, when you're doing, doing synthetic division, you're going to go ahead and find the 0 or let it equal 0 and then solve for that, and it's going to be, you're going to, you're going to be using x equals 5. All right, so you're going to be using the 5 instead. Okay, so bring the 3 down. 15, so bring the 3 down, or just add, so you're adding 3 and nothing, which is just 3. And then you're going to go ahead and multiply 5 and 3, which is 15. You're going to put it on the, on the next column over, and then you're going to add it down, and you can go ahead and proceed from there. So negative 17 and 15 is negative 2. You're going to multiply. That's going to be negative 10. You're going to add 5, and you're going to go ahead and multiply, and you get 25. So that gets you a remainder of 0. Okay. And so when you divide when you divide this polynomial by this linear factor or that smaller polynomial, you will end up with three x squared because if you divide an x out of the x to the third, you you will lose an x and you'll end up with x squared. So 3x squared minus 2x and then plus 5. And you see how it works out perfectly because there's nothing left. And then your exponents goes from 2, 1, and then 0. So that's 13. So let's say... that this will end up. So this polynomial divided by x minus 5 will end up being 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. Okay, that's 13. 15. 15 is... And take six x to the third to the third plus seven x squared minus x plus twenty six and you're gonna divide that by x minus three. Okay, so same thing again, check to see if there's anything missing and it doesn't look like there's any because it goes from three, two, one, and no x's. Right, so looking at just the powers. <clears throat> so we're going to use 6, 7, negative 1, 26. I'm going to do synthetic division with this. And by solving for the 0, you get x equals 3. So 6, 18, um, 25, uh, 75, 74, Let's see, that's 12, 21, 22, so 222. And add it to get 248. That's your remainder right there. So if you divide this, which it doesn't go in, it doesn't go in um, evenly, but if you divide it, you will end up with 6 x squared because remember this is x to the third so when we divide it by x we will lose 
it, um, the x to the third will go down by one power and we'll get x squared. So 6x squared, starting with that x coefficient, plus 25x plus 74, and that's our constant term, but then we have a remainder of 248. So this will be plus 248 over what we're dividing by, which is x minus 3. <clears throat> 15, 17, we're going to do all the way to 21. 21, right? Yep. So 17, 9x to third minus 18x squared minus 16x plus 32. I'm going to divide that by x minus 2. Same thing again. Make sure there's nothing missing. If there is, then you're going to use a zero in place of that. So this is 9, negative 18. So for example, if, if this term was missing, right, if, there, if, if there wasn't a minus 6x, you know, then you would use zero. But because there's a minus 16x, you would use negative 16 and 32. Okay, and using that divided by x minus 2, now the zero would be a positive two. So nine, 18, zero, right? And zero times two is zero. Add it, add it down, it's negative 16. Multiply it out, you're gonna get negative 32. And that gives you a remainder of zero, which is pretty cool. Which means, so these are the remainders at the very end, which means that this x minus two does go evenly into the polynomial and your answer start with 9 x squared plus no x because that's a 0 minus 16 or you can just write that as 9 x squared minus 16. Okay, that was 17. 19. <clears throat> oh, this one will be fun. x to the third plus 5, 12 divided by x plus 8. Okay, So in this case, there's a bunch of terms missing. See how x is a third, and then all of a sudden it jumps to 512, which is x to the 0, because there's no x's. So we call that x to the 0 power. So there's a 1 in front of x to the third, so we have a 1, and there's no x to the second, there's no x to the first, and then there's x to the 0, which is the 512. We're going to use that synthetic division with the that's x plus 8, so we're going to use a negative 8. Bring the 1 down. 1, one times negative 8 is a negative 8. Add it, we're going to get negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 8 is 64. 0 and 64 is 64. Right? And 8 times 64, negative 8 times 64 is negative. Mm, Let's see, 8 times 4, um, I believe it's 512. So 8 times 4 is 32. So 3, bring the 2 down. 8 times 6 is 48. And plus 3 more for 9, 50, 51. So it is, and we get a remainder of 0. Which means that we have a linear factor that divides evenly into this polynomial. The answer should be. So it's a 1 and it's x to the third, so it'll be 1x to the second minus 8x plus 64. Okay, I'm using these numbers down here as my coefficients or the numbers in front. Coefficients are numbers in front of each term. Okay, that's number 19. And lastly, 21. 21. So 21 looks like this. Okay, if you look in your book, 4x third plus 16x squared minus 23x minus 15. And it says divided by x plus 1 half. Okay, so it's it's the same thing as this right here. Okay, it's just showing you in terms of the fraction. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this with 4, 16, negative 23, negative 15. 
since the division of x plus a half, which means that if you solve for x, you will get negative one half. Okay, bring the four down, multiply it, you get negative two. Add it, you're gonna get negative 14. Multiply it, you're gonna get seven. Um, add it, you're gonna get what, negative three and four, 16. Is that right? Yep. And half of negative 16 is negative. It's positive 8. And then fifth, negative 15, positive 8. Negative 7. Okay, that's your remainder. And because there's a remainder, we <clears throat> can say that this x plus 1 half is not divide evenly into this polynomial of the 4x to the third plus 16x minus 23x minus 15. All right, so this is going to be equal to 4. And since this is x to the third, we're going to go ahead and drop it by 1. So x to the second, so 4x to the second, using these numbers down here, minus 14x minus 16. And then we're going to go and call this minus 7 over x plus one half or x yeah x plus one half 